Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Passing Money Play. <laughs> this is Kirby. That's Alex over there. I think we're going to talk about uh, events or situations that affected another situation. Today, we're going to talk about I started making money when I did this. So with that said, Alex, take it away. What you got? All right. The first thing I could think of when I stopped uh, giving giving money away to anyone who asked. That was, that's probably the biggest one because it saves a lot of money. <laughs> it really does. Because the problem right. with it is like, I'm not against giving money to people I want to help, but that's the thing is people I, I want to help. And when people come to you and ask for money, it's like they just treat you like an ATM. Like they can always come to you and ask for money. And the first time you give it to them, they're going to come back and so forth. Like it will not stop and it'll be a constant cycle. And that gives them no responsibility over their life and makes you responsible in a sense for, for them. And it shouldn't be that way. But uh, I see this happen a lot with people where they want to, they feel bad to say no, or they don't know how to say no. And maybe it's uncomfortable at first, but it, in order to, really save your money you have to say no um but yeah it's i remember you told me this about three years ago you said the best you said the most powerful word is saying no and people forget how to use it and it's true it uh it will save you a lot the thing is like when people call you and ask for money they stories be so good i mean <laughs> it's it's like in the world stuff every time <laughs> I mean, they, they they have the exact perfect words to play on your heartstrings to be like, yeah, so I, I used to be the person, like, because, you know, when I was in the military and I saved, a, you know, a couple of dollars that I didn't drink, you know, get drunk off the week before, and, and somebody would call and, and but they'd be like, oh, man, you look like you need it. Here you go. But then I look and be like, I just gave you my last $400. What the heck I'm going to do? <laughs> right? And, and then, but it was all, every time that I could save, you know, Save a dollar here or there. It was always somebody who had, you know, that perfect story. And, you know, and like you said, the, the word no, the word no will save you, save you an end. Because uh, I always remember when uh, my mom, mom is, uh, she, she has a big giving heart, giving heart. It was like nauseating for me. But, but I always seen it growing up, you know, everybody always had a good story. And it would just play on my mom's heartstrings and she would, you know, give. And then I'll, I always ask the question, all right, you always helping everybody else. But of all these people that you help, if you're in trouble and you need help, could you call any of them? And when she said no, that, that, that for me, that was like an epiphany. That like changed my life right there. And that was at a young age, but I didn't have no money at that age when she said it. But I always, I always told myself, uh, growing up, like if I, you know, ever, you know, start accumulating money, that I have to say no because I see what it do. You know, my mom had a great job, and everybody just looked like, oh, she has money, so, you know, always coming. My mom would always give, always give, always give, and then I'm just like, okay. And then I started to get older, and then you know, got a job during the military, and then for some reason I don't know why people think people in the military make money. They really don't, <laughs> but they would always call. And then I start, I see, I noticed myself going in that same pattern of, okay, well, here you need it. It's such heartbreaking. And then, then I learned the word no. I think Dave Ramsey had to remind me in that conversation I had my mom at a younger age. And the partner said, no, no, nah, that's like my favorite word in English, isn't it? No, no. <laughs> and, I mean, and I still help people, but. It's more vetting. It, it's more vetting. It's just people can't call me with a sob story and say, oh, this, you know, and then I just like, here you go. It's OK. Did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? The ones I hate the most is uh, like I tell you, you see somebody on, you know, all the social media platforms, they uh, vacation and buying this, buying that. And then they come back from vacation. Hey, my life's going to be cut off. You know, the light bill was due before you even went on vacation. So don't call me with your issues. But before, a long time ago, I was like, oh, we can't have the lights off. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'll help. But now, uh, for me, 
But yeah, went on a tangent there on that one because that's that's one of the that's one of my I got more to say. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, for me, for me, uh, the I started making money, of course, there. Um, well, I started saving money. Um, when I stopped trying to get rich quick. When I stopped trying to get rich quick, uh, I mean, I know I'll share with you stories. I tried to create a credit card company on a credit card because they was like, oh, if you do this business, you will make some money. And then I lost. Um, you know, I've, I've tried all the all the get rich quick schemes of the, uh, you know, the early 2000s. And I was trying them and it was failures, 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 failures. So I was having debt on top of debt, on top of trying to get rich. And every time I try to get rich quick, that's when I stopped doing that and just focused on the long haul. That's when I started making money and accumulating a lot of money. Yeah, I think that's a really good point because it's very common in society for people having that mindset of just making quick, fast money. Um, when I tell anybody about the stock market, they just they think that's the they think the stock market is just trading stocks. And um, I mean, I just always go back to what I've learned from you and uh, the things I've seen from like Warren Buffett were. Uh, he's even said if people would stop and realize what they're buying is actual, you know, they're taking equity positions in companies that, you know, in assets that maybe they would start thinking differently in the stock market wouldn't be reacting or acting the way that it does. Um, but anyone that I, you know, introduce the stock market to, they, the, one of the most common things I hear is how can I, how can I double my money? I don't know, you know, I I don't know what a what a put what stock to put you in. That if if I knew how to double my money, or if I knew how to double your money, I would be a billionaire, you know, because I could just keep doing that over and over and over. But there's no right, right. stock that's gonna be able to uh I mean, there's anomalies and stuff like that, but there's there's no specific stock you could just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna double my money, let me put my money in this. But yeah, I uh, but the problem is it's not that they want to double their money. There's no, that's that's not the problem. They want to double their money today. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> yes. oh, that's what it is. Yes. I mean, is it stocks that, yes. that will double and will, <laughs> you know, three, four X? Yeah, over a long time frame. Yeah. But these people want to put money in at 8.30 or 9.30 a.m. when the market opens and take it yeah. out by 10 a.m. and double their money. <laughs> yes. That's, exactly. that's what they want. Exactly. And, and that, yeah, that's the part that's crazy. Is no, that's that's absolutely true. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's the part that just I'm like, but yeah, but playing it playing it on the long term. But I was the same way when I first got into the stock market. I would buy something; it'll go up like you know a dollar or something. I got okay, something, and I and, and it, but that's when I that's when I learned if you hold it over the long term, that's when I started accumulating money, and. But I, I like I said, all the get rich quick early. I mean, I was saying it's feel like the broker you are, the more you try to get rich quick to pad the burden that you already got, not knowing you just keep putting yourself in more and more and more debt because you're trying to get rich quick. But once I stopped doing that, I was like, all right, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. If somebody says it's quick, I don't want no part of it. And then next thing you know, I started accumulating money. I was like, oh, this is the secret here. Yeah. yeah. The biggest one for me was that was uh saying no. And <laughs> when I stopped going out to eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. No, I, Stop going I, out to eat. I have to be honest, I overdid it. When I used to go out to eat, it was like I was eating every day out. And that's why it was that's why I was spending so much. Um, I'm not really against going out to eat, guys. <laughs> so when you, all right, so now you gotta tell us about this. All right, so when you go, when you was going out, when you was actually spending a dollar, yes, because you won't do it no more. Uh, what was you going out? To eat? What was you, what was you doing? It was just like so. I was ordering food out uh, every day at work. So like, uh, like there's a Mexican restaurant nearby. There would be like wings or subway or just anything just always going out to eat and then after work i would meet up with friends and then go out to eat again so it was just like two times a day basically and um then i was like doing the math and like 
it was like in a year, it was like five, six grand that I spent on just like, you know, 10 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day. And I was like, that's adding up a lot. So I just uh, cut back on it and maybe did it like once a week instead. And um, but I was doing it like that was the only way I could actually eat. Basically, like I had to buy it to buy it out from somewhere. So I just started cooking more at home or making my own meals. And then when I went to, um, cause this was also like, I, this was kind of when I was just like living at home first too. So then like say a year, year and a half of that. And then I moved in, uh, with my wife now, girlfriend at the time. Um, and then when I started like buying groceries, I was like, dang i was like i didn't know food was so cheap <laughs> like <laughs> so it was like a, it was like a shock to me i was like holy crap so like and then i like <laughs> learned how to like cook because i was like man i could make so much more food if i just learned how to cook this like so then i started buying more at the grocery store and that was the other bad thing because like now going to the grocery store for me is like oh my gosh what could i buy like all the food so it's like the same same thing that goes on in my brain as like if i'm at a restaurant but <laughs> food like when you know back in the day when we was, when we were struggling like i said ramen noodle sandwiches we was eating we was eating at the house all the time but that was one thing that we did have when we was going out well stop saying we i keep saying i keep saying we I'm, I'm lying i'm lying i keep saying we i'm lying it was me <laughs> it was all me I can't even put my wife in this. <laughs> Why was at home saying, hey, you need to sit your butt down and eat <laughs> eat at the house? It was me. I always I always had I had an excuse to go out and eat. Because I love food. <laughs> and then me, it was just, I mean, and what I tried to do is what I tried to do is uh so when I was of course when I was younger, we didn't get to go out and experience, you know, the you know, fast food restaurants. I mean, a McDonald's here or there or something like that, but it was always at home food, at home food, at home food. So when I left the house, I was like, oh, hey, hell no, I'm going out and eat. I hit every every restaurant. I mean, it's funny. Every restaurant that I wanted to hit when I was a kid, when I didn't have no money, I went to when I was an adult. Like, and some of my favorite, like Taco Bell, I could never go, my family never ate Taco Bell, so I would always go to Taco Bell. Hell, I still go to Taco Bell. Uh, Wendy's. My mom would go to Wendy's. She'd take us to McDonald's. So Wendy's, I still go there. But it's all, it's all, and it's what it's always was like. So I was always going out to eat. It wasn't. I mean, I didn't find any excuse to go out to eat. So I, I would keep saying we like it was me and my wife doing this together. No, it was all me. It was all me going out to eat, going out to eat. But then when I stopped, I didn't save a lot of money. Well, I didn't have a choice. I mean, I was I was super broke. Credit card was already at the max. Then that was the. Besides going out to eat, my only fear was I could never go anywhere and I swipe that card and somebody tell me it's a climb. That was my biggest fear ever. So I would, I mean, I was going, 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 but I look at the number and get close and I'm like, all right. And then, but I didn't have no choice. I didn't have no more room at the end of the car. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I need to cut all this down because I mean, that would be my biggest fear is somebody's telling me to climb. Somebody say to climb, I probably run out the whole restaurant. I'm like, oh my gosh. So, <laughs> So that, so I cut down on that uh, food, and then so, and then over the over the years, and still today, my wife still cook uh, all the time. Now that I got some money, I'm still cheap. I'm still, but I don't get to go out as much as I want to. But now we go out to eat. Like my son, my son even got expensive taste. Like I asked him, well, hey, you want McDonald's? Be like, no, I want sushi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, it's no, it's no, there's no cheap skating with this kid. But no, I mean, but yeah, food is still. I mean, food is our biggest bill. That is our biggest bill, bar none. I mean, it's our food bill a month is people's mortgage payments. That's a seven percent interest. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a that's our biggest. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah so so but yeah so who would i understand that one a lot now i'm curious with as many countries as you've been to um is food like when you go out to eat in these countries is it cheaper than here say in like dubai or um uh, no it's not really 
people, I mean, the I, I hear if you go down, you know, South America and stuff like that, the food is super cheap. Yeah. Uh, that was, that's what I noticed. But, yeah, but like, you have the conversion rate. I mean, some things like in Europe, French fries, one of my favorites in Europe, it's cheaper than if you went to McDonald's and bought fries. I think they taste way better in Europe also. Uh, but no, like in in Dubai, your our money is three to one of theirs. I don't know what the conversion rate is today, but our money is three to one. So you give them a hundred, they give you like three hundred and you know six fifty something dirham. But if you do the math on how much it costs for a steak dinner, you know, give or take, depending on what quality of a restaurant you went, it's about the same price. It's about the same price. It costs it costs about. 180 Durham for a steak dinner. 180 Durham is about 35, 40 bucks. Okay. So if you're going somewhere like Texas Roadhouse or something, it's about it's about on par with okay. that. No, but, I, just, I mean, but same thing in Europe also. Yeah. I was just wondering because uh, when we were in Colombia, I noticed how cheap it was, and like it was the only time in my life where I was like, I had no fear of just. Buying food out. I was, we I was like, we it. <laughs> I felt I was like, this is how Kirby feels. I was like, I barely even looked at the bill. Yeah, you didn't look at the bill like, hey, just take that. Yeah, take I was like, just take it. Hey, here you go. <laughs> you know, hey, leave me extra tip. Leave me extra tip. Bring <laughs> some, some change on <laughs> Yeah, I was like, do we leave tip too? Does he want a tip, man? <laughs> Guys, he was. <laughs> So yeah, it, it's like certain services uh, is is cheaper. Uh, like you know, haircuts and stuff like that is way cheaper than a state. Uh, then you know, in every country I've been to, uh, but I mean, you could say food is cheaper. I mean, I I never like going to those different, you know, different countries besides Europe. I wasn't you know going grocery shopping there. I was just restaurant, 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 restaurant. But uh. The food, I, let's, let's just keep it simple. Uh, I like a coat. You go to a grocery store, Walmart, or something here, and you're going to get a 20 ounce coat. It's, well, you, you probably don't know because you won't go to that coat from Walmart. But you, let's say you get a 20 ounce coat like that. Uh, it, it'll cost, let's say, $1.50, $2. Let's just use that. You do the same thing in like Europe. And it's it's like fifteen point five ounces. It's not even actually twenty ounces. It's about four or five bucks. Once you do the conversion rate to U.S. dollar from euro from when when I was there, and that's just so it's more expensive. It's more expensive. Maybe it's logistics or whatever. But when you go to like the little food trucks and stuff like that, it do seem cheaper. When you go to like the formal restaurants, like here, it seems like it's on par. It's on par. Or higher, but you know, beverages beverages at restaurants is cheaper. Like it's crazy. Like beer is cheaper than water. Beer is cheaper than everything over there. <laughs> you know, I love it. That's crazy. that's the only time I love beer is over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. Um, I noticed that with candy, and when we were in Colombia, with like Hershey's, like a Hershey's bar would be like three fifty, but if you buy their candy, it's like twenty cents, thirty cents. You know, it's super cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and that's and that's the thing. But yeah, food was yeah. So we so I had to tap down on the food a little bit. I still I tap down now. I mean, just every time you call me, I'm at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I tap down now. But uh, yeah, I still we, we get out there and we get out there and do it. We get out there and do it. That's like our one our one splurge. But yeah, we come back. I mean, if we had to come back, that's what we did. But we ain't spend money on nothing else. I give food, but I ain't. <laughs> You ain't getting nothing else from me. And and I, I mean in going back to like my first point too with like uh not saying no helps with money. It it's like like in speaking on Colombia, like because my wife has family there, it's so easy to say yes to them because how cheap everything is. Cause like here mm -hmm. in the States, like people when they ask you for money, it's like they're asking for hundreds of dollars. It's like, hey, I need four hundred dollars. I need three hundred dollars. But then, like, when we get asked for money from like her family, it's like, hey, do you guys have ten dollars? Like, 
I'm like, yeah, here you go. Like, so I wish back in the day. <laughs> that's like, how you see back in the in the states. In the states, yeah. that's how you see back in the day. Man, I wish I wish I would get asked for that in like here, but people here need like above a hundred, two hundred dollars in each each shot. It's just like it all adds up. I mean, that's, the thing is, is I mean, just maybe just me. People are not they're not short on something. What I mean by this is like when they're asking you to borrow money, like so let's say I got a mortgage, right? And I I call you. Is hey, I need a thousand dollars to pay my rent. You ain't got like seven hundred dollars of what you're supposed to pay. How you lose your whole rent check? <laughs> you know what I mean? You have no money on it. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hey, I need I need five hundred dollars for let's just use a refrigerator. You, what how much money are you putting towards this? Oh, you need the whole refrigerator. Oh, I got the whole that part right there. Oh, that's <laughs> that. That's the part that, that irks me. No, you know what's gotten me? Like, so one of my top, like, responses when people ask to borrow money, I'll say, do you have a credit card? And they'll be like, yeah, but I, I, I'm, I'm afraid to use it because I don't want to damage my credit. And I'm like, wait, so you want to just take my money? <laughs> like, what the <laughs> <hell>? <laughs> Yeah. Like, man. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, they they don't want to yeah. trust themselves, but I'm supposed to trust them with my money. Like, oh man, that's yeah, right. so. Oh, you you don't want to pay this, so it's a possibility you don't plan on paying this money back because you're worried about your credit. <laughs> so let me go act this. Let me go act this sucker here. So I ain't got to pay him back. It's, that's what yeah. I mean by that's what I mean by uh, you know, when people call and ask, I do more research now. I do more deep dive and wonder why they don't have it because. Cause in like in that situation, you're like, oh well, you got a credit card, but you worried about messing up your credit, so you ain't got to go take your credit back. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me save myself some money, you know. Yeah. And then, but yeah, I mean it, it's crazy when it's like people just say, oh, uh, they ain't got no money on it. Like you need the whole thing. They need they need the whole. I wish somebody be like, hey, you know, I'm I'm twenty dollars, thirty dollars short on a rent payment, or I'm twenty, thirty dollars short on whatever. I, that's easy. Yeah, here you go, get home. But no, they need a hundred percent of everything that. So, so something went awry here. Your budget's going way out of whack. That you need a hundred percent of of what you need. <laughs> like, like in the case of, oh, I gotta pay the lights. All right, so how much money you got on it? No, no, I need you to pay the whole bill. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, oh man, jeez. That's, that's what I mean. like when well, you ain't got three oh, dollars. But then, what what makes me laugh is like, where are the bad ones though? Because I do the same thing. I'll ask all of these questions. People will be like, "Man, you really need to know all that. You can't just give them the money." <laughs> like, what? <laughs> What the heck? Like, oh man, like, <laughs> oh gee, man, no, dude, that's it's uh, it's horrible. I'll be like, what the heck? <laughs> but yeah, so but no, those times I started make when you know saying no, uh, stop going out, stop going out to eat as much. Well, I had to stop all together because I was in a bad financial situation. But I'm back out there, y'all. If you see me out there, say. <laughs> Just don't ask me no money because I got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. He blew lot of money. on Wendy's. He blew his whole budget. Um. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you, if you ever had a Wendy's, I'm probably there too. Uh, but yeah, those those are the those are things that you know, just going through life journey and you know, just picking up on when we stop doing something that everybody else is doing. That was, you know, that's when money started really generating. You know. Um, that's and it, and it's a good thing that we can look back and laugh at it now, but but it wasn't a laughing matter when I was in it. When I was in it, I couldn't laugh about it. I was like, oh god, <laughs> oh man, and it was like, like it was like it was literally like money would come in and it was just like water in my hand and just like, psh. <laughs> come on. I was, yeah. I was like, man, I'm out here telling everybody, you know, I'm telling the girls, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have all this money. I'm gonna be the man. 
I can hold two dollars. <laughs> I can hold two dollars, man. I was like, good lord. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so but all that being said, y'all, thanks for tuning in to the channel. Uh, comment in the comment section below, talk about things that that you did that uh you started making money when you did this. Uh with that being said, y'all have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. See you guys.